Good morning, y'all. It's Jordan and Eric from North American Adventures. We had a long sleep yesterday after a really, really difficult hike, almost 4,000 feet in elevation gain up a mountain. That would be Baxter. It was a crazy day, and after some pasta, like I said, we were just tired. We watched two movies, fell asleep, fell asleep in the second one, and right now we are headed to Ice Caves Trail. I'll update y'all on more trail information as we get a little bit closer. Right now, out my left window is a beautiful, beautiful stream, and then you can see in the background the very mountain we were up yesterday. We're driving through a bit of a residential area right now. Weather is gorgeous, and it's the color tour. We're literally going through every single fall color that we could. This is a beautiful area just outside Baxter State Park. We are at the Ice Caves Trailhead right now. We just had some oatmeal, took a nice, nice leisurely breakfast, and then we also dried out some clothes and boots that definitely needed to be done. We call it laundry. We are here right now. It's a mile to the first checkpoint, and at the end of this hike, I believe there's a little bit of a lake. We may try and take a dip, weather permitting, and if there's some sun showing. We have now burned through three tripods in the last two months. Nothing seems to work. They're all garbage. Walmart. I hate them. Thanks, Walmart. I guess we have to buy them from Amazon, which is slightly better. But I'll probably be doing mostly just holding my phone today since we broke it yesterday on the summit of Baxter Mountain. One mile to the first checkpoint. Let's do it. Parts of the ice cave hike definitely gave us Sweden vibes. Over the summer, we hiked the Bergslag Sleaden in Sweden, in Tiviaden, a national park there. Mind you, I'm probably not pronouncing any of those words correctly. These giant glacial granite boulders that we're hiking through remind me a lot of the Stian Chalen in Stian Chalagordan, which we saw in Sweden. I'd assume this is due to the fact that Maine and Sweden are both near similar lines of latitude and therefore have had similar effects of glacial flow on their landscapes. The reviews on all trails for this trail said that around this time of year there will be a lot of mushrooms, particularly around the cave area that we're going to check out. But it's pretty early on the trail and we've already found some. Check this out. There's a little white cat boy. Not sure what it's called. Again, probably have to get a book for how many we've seen, but we're going to keep checking them out. I'll update you all on more if we find them.
just reached a junction with some signage. We're headed to a scenic vista. It's 0.1 miles away. We'll backtrack after that, come back to the same junction, then head to ice caves and hopefully the lake. Let's do it. We found so many low points with mushrooms that I figured I'd start Mushroom. a count for different species or types or shapes rather that I may have found. Returned to the junction where the signage was previously. The scenic outlook was beautiful, beautiful fall colors across and around the lake. We chilled there for a bit in the sun and it was awesome. So now we're headed to ice caves. There looks like there should be a bit of a ladder. <laughs> there should be a bit of a ladder down. They said 12 runs online, so we'll see if that holds up. Should be cool, potentially ice in it, could be mushrooms in it. We'll see what's up. It's that way. Look at the size of that rock. It's massive. These were deposited by glaciers. And when we were in Sweden, we saw many similar types of rocks there. When we were on the Bergslag Slayer Den. A little bit, yeah. Coming from underneath. Yeah. I believe this is where we go. <laughs> this is very much a cave. Okay, we found the ice cave. It goes down into this thing. Here's the first set of rungs, and then the second set goes there into the abyss. They say you don't need a headlamp, but I brought one just in case. There he goes! <laughs> There's Eric. Here's the ice cave. I'm gonna head down to where he is because it's super dark in here. Okay, I'm making the best out of this headlamp as I can. We are at the bottom of the ice cave. It's very cold and cool down here. There's supposed to be ice right there, however, there is no ice. But Super cool. Oh, oh, oh. Echo. you can hear very quiet in here with some light peeking through. And we can see our breath. Very cold. Welcome to Ice Cave. So, someone has been through here and up. I don't know that this is the way to go, <laughs> but there is. A rope here, so you can definitely tell someone has been spelunking through here. Some cave crawling. That's cool. There he goes. We're headed up and out of the cave. <laughs> I wonder how it'll be for me.
There he comes. Master Spelunker, Jordan Berman. Crawls out to freedom. <gasps> one step at a time. He just climbed out of the ice cave. There was no ice, but it was a cave, which is cool. The ladder was there, the rungs were there, easy to get in and out of. We did need our headlamp for filming, but probably you don't need one to see around there. It's not too big. Like I said, someone had actually been in there crawling through. It looks like the system might go further if you got the right gear. It's not for us. Not for us today, <laughs> but it was cool to see. Now we're gonna go head to the lake and check it out. Mushroom. Mushroom. The weather is absolutely perfect, so we decide to make our way to the lake for a snack as well as a dip. The cave itself was freezing, so we thought the best way to warm up would be to get in some freezing water. It was also a nice way to give ourselves a much needed bath after the hike and act as a closer for what was a pretty unique and also amazing experience with the cave, the lake, and the viewpoint. We just enjoyed a beautiful lunch at the lake behind me. This is one of the lakes that was featured on the trail map. We took a swim, I had a sandwich, we chilled in the sun. It's pretty hot out here for fall right now, and now we are headed back all the way that we came. This is an out and back trail to the Honda at the Ice Lake parking lot, or Ice Cave parking lot rather. I keep calling it Ice Lake. <laughs> but it's an ice cave, that's what we saw. It was a cave, there was no ice. Now we're headed out, let's go! Follow the arrow. A little frog gigging. Whoa. That was a good time. It's, it's like the frog from Parent Trap. That's kind of cute. There he goes. Mushroom. Back at our favorite junction. If you go left, which would be to my right, you go to the lake. And if you go the other way, you go to the caves. We're headed back to the car. Shroomin. More of them. Mushroom. We have arrived back at the Honda. There is now some company behind us. We actually saw the people who are parked here on the trail. Very nice, everyone's heading to the cave and then potentially to the scenic outlook and lake. This is an absolutely beautiful hike. Gorgeous day, quite hot for October in Maine on the East Coast, but we're loving it. Sunshine's still going on. 
We've got plenty of hours before sunset, which is actually nice today. So we'll just relax, chill, and get ready for tomorrow before we head to our next spot. Trail is marked at 2.4 miles, probably just under three. I would say what we did today with backtracking and heading to some of these outlook spots, very doable for everyone of all ages and pets are welcome as well. Although I would say probably you can't bring them in the cave. <laughs> Unless you can. But yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. We will see y'all in the next video. Take care, happy hiking. Woo!